Hey, Josh. Josh? Yeah, cutscene's gonna start when I jump across, isn't it? Where the hell did I just drop to? Looks like a dining room. Yeah, finally got through this door. This is back around the like first floor or lobby. And this, I'm pretty sure, is the atrium. Moldy bread. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a boss fight in the atrium. It's a big circle. We've been leading up to it for a while. They just gave me a bunch of supplies and a save point. That's like kind of funny looking bananas. I like them. Also, the bananas are fine. Like the bread is moldy, but those bananas are totally fine. And who knows what those other fruit are? Indistinct fruits. Oh, that's a cool looking room. Wait, it's locked? Wait, it shows me it's being in the atrium? Are things going to be different when I turn around? Ah. This game can sometimes look pretty cool. Pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a boss fight. What is that amorphous blob of flesh and root in the center? Mayor Bartlett? Mayor Bartlett! Oh right, Mayor Bartlett. The one we heard in the note. Oh, uh, somebody saw them taking a body. Into here? Yeah, it was a bag of fertilizer into this place, right? Not out of this place. And also, they're the one we saw at the uh, the grave. The cemetery. Digging up two bodies, I think it was. Man, look at that face. They're not looking so good. Hmm. These look like temporary cover that is going to crack after an attack or two from the boss. Yeah, this thing's pretty veiny. Yeah, all right. Mayor Bartlett, I need to talk to you. Yeah? Well, make an appointment in my office. What the hell's happened to Shepherd's Glen? You're the mayor. These people are your responsibility. Now you listen to me, you little asshole. I did everything I could to protect those people. But you can't stop what's already been started. What the hell else do you want from me? What about your son? Don't you want to protect him? My boy? I, I didn't do much right with him. But I did buy him some nice things. 
Remember Joey? Remember that nice present I got you? I'm looking for my brother Joshua, and I know he used to be friends with your son. Have you seen either of them? Joey? Uh, Joey doesn't want to play with you. Why do you want to know about him? Because I thought he and Joshua might be together. Do you know where they are? Maybe you can take me to them. I'm not going anywhere with you, you freak. Can't you take a hint and get the hell away from me? I just want to stay here and sleep in the garden. Oh. Joey loves his little garden. What the hell is this? Belongs to your son, doesn't it? Where is he? Joey? Yes, Joey. He and my brother were friends. I need to find him. You shouldn't have come back, Alex. Times are bad. People don't trust me anymore. <laughs> I can't protect them. Protect them from what? What did you do? Something has come. Taken everyone away. You can't stop them. They'll get you too. Who's taking them? What are you talking about? Where's my brother? Bastard. You can't say it. That is a really fucking cool looking boss. Okay, uh, a bunch of meat sacks hanging. Maybe I need to hit the meat sacks. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's do this. Oh, you know what? I have to target uh, the main boss. It won't let me target the meat sacks around, so I guess I can't really do anything about them. Okay, well, that doesn't work. Man, can I even get a single attack off? Wait, can I even attack? I'm... I'm confused. I'm pressing the attack button, nothing's happening. Right. Well, I can back up enough, even if I'm targeting the center, to uh, hit the meat sacks, so maybe I do need to hit the meat sacks and not the main thing. Also, I should try to take cover behind those things and see what happens. I hope I can skip that long cutscene. Or maybe it makes an autosave at the beginning of this boss fight. Oh, I hope so, but I doubt it. Pleasantly surprised me, game? Not pleasantly surprised. As far as I can tell, there's no way to skip the sort of cutscenes, if you can call them that, when you're having a conversation and you have to occasionally pick an option. So it takes me a good, like, minute, minute and a half to get back here. But then after that, there's a long cutscene where the enemy comes out after you're done talking, and that I was able to skip, thank god. Alright, let's hit, hit the meat sacks, I guess.
Oh, wait. Ma oh, I must have just not been in combat mode. I thought I was in combat mode because it's focused on the center no matter what, which is usually what it does when it's in combat mode, focuses on the enemy. But I just wasn't in combat mode. Okay. Yes, that definitely did something. Oof. Damn, okay. Can't stay here for too long. moving, but didn't save me. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe I need to hit the sack up there. Hold on. My last heal. What the fuck? No, that does nothing. There we go. Yeah, look at those weird, wriggly red bits. Oh, come on. That's all for that. Come on. <laughs> like I'm dodging, but it's just not working and I don't know why. Get it. I don't know, it was bleeding when I shot the back, and it's kind of like red, so I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to hit. I just need to hit it more. I guess. When Sepulcher is attacking from the ground, striking his arms will expose his body to additional attack. That's its name, Sepulcher? Okay. Go for the arms? Really look like I'm supposed to go for the back with those, like, red bits, you know? Right. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Oh man, that glass hit me and actually hurt quite a bit. Damn it. 
Attack the arms. Okay. Okay. attack the arms, they said. It'll be easy. Fucking hell. Yeah, I get like quarter second to aim. And then accomplish what? They went down for a quarter of a second? Well, this is working, just kind of... I, I don't know if I'm doing damage, but it's kind of working. Sort of. Yeah, I think I might look up a strategy guide for this boss. Trying to learn how to defeat a boss that's designed poorly in a game with poor combat that also has a minute and a half of cutscenes to go through before you can even fight it. Yeah. I'll try one more time. Alright, here we go again. How are you supposed to avoid that class? Like, yeah, how the fuck do I avoid that? Okay, what am I doing on health? Uh, not bad. Should I just try to go for the arms and then, like, maybe the weak point is the head? I don't know. Should I go back to my special spot? 
It didn't seem to do anything, though. Ah! I can't... I can't even aim for the fucking arms because I'm constantly targeted to the center. I can't target anywhere else. What in the fuck? What the hell was that shitty-ass tip about hitting the hands? Okay, it kind of worked there. Like, if you're back enough, it seems to, like, auto-target the hand, kind of? Yeah. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> now where do you want to fall, buddy? Anybody here? Okay, I really want to break down that fight because it's super bothering me. The, the monster design itself, like the way it, it looks and the way it moves and all that, is very cool. I really like that boss, just visually. But the design of that combat for that encounter is god-awful. So, to get through the boss's first phase, you hit all those sacks of meat, those red sacks of meat. That makes sense. They're pretty obvious and kind of out there. And then after you do those, kill them, and it comes down and starts the second phase, the solution is not to hit the red fleshy parts of its back, which look, well, definitely like a weak point. Don't hit that. And don't... Whoa. A cutscene? I just had to wait and a cutscene would start? I don't want to press the escape button because it might pause or it might skip the cutscene. Depending on what it feels like doing today. Deputy Wheeler. Well, well. Back in the world of the living. How did I get here? I put you here. Haven't quite made up my mind about you yet. Wheeler, come on, you know me. Let me out. You won't be going anywhere till I get some answers. Start talking. I don't know. Last thing I remember, I was in a greenhouse with Mayor Bartlett. <laughs> Sam Bartlett? That lunatic? Where is he? I got a couple of questions I'd like to ask him about what's been going on around here. Okay, now it's paused. Oh, that looks so weird. The shotgun is not moving even in the slightest, but their hands are. That's really weird. Um, yeah, so the solution to that boss in the second phase is not to hit the fleshy red bits that look like weak points and look kind of like the bulbous sacks that you just killed before. The solution is to hit the arms, just like one little attack seems to do it, and makes them fall down, and then hit their head, which doesn't look like a weak point, and also you can't even specifically target the arms, you can't free target anything, 
except with your pistol, but good luck having enough time to pull that out and aim at anything before you get hit. And like, it's not even obvious that the arms are a target. I wouldn't even know to have looked at them if it wasn't for the fact that the tip screen and a loading screen mentioned them. And then even after having mentioned them, I thought, well, what the hell? I can't really hit them because I can't target them specifically. I'm always targeted to the very center of the encounter, which is their main body. But if you dodge their hand, then the hand that just tried to hit you then kind of rests on the ground for a couple seconds and your character auto targets it. So like, how the f like, how the fuck are you supposed to know that? It, it's terrible. Gah. Anyway. Well, it would behoove me probably to lie and say Mayor Bartlett's fine, so they maybe don't suspect me of killing them or something, but you know what? Fuck it, he was smashed by a giant monster hand. Well, you're not going to be able to ask him anything. He's dead. Dead? Shit! And you better start telling me what you're up to, Alex. I want to know right now. I I'm just trying to find my brother, okay? I, I thought the mayor might know something. His son is missing, too. A lot of people are missing! But that doesn't give you the right to kill a man! I didn't kill anybody! Then what happened to Mayor Bartlett? It was some kind of creature. But worse than the others. It, it came to life out of the goddamn tree. That's what killed him. And that's the truth. I swear. So you've seen the creatures too? We should get moving. I'm not sure it's safe here anymore. Follow me. Well, telling the truth seemed to have, seems to have worked out really, really well, actually. Good. Oh yeah, follow me. No, no, hold on, I gotta read this. Some writing on the wall looks like a poem or something. All I want is freedom to forget about my past. All I need is freedom, so my sanity will last. Are you seeking freedom from this wretched metal cell? Then look no further than yourself, for now you're trapped in hell. Oh, thanks, that's uplifting. Oh, do I still have my stuff? No. I don't. They took my weapons. Makes sense. Or maybe I dropped my weapons in the hole or something. Looks clear. Stay close. Don't have my flashlight either. Yeah, I'm not going to stay close, buddy. I uh, don't have a map of this place either. I'm going to check it out first. You do that. I'm going to try to find bonuses. Okay. Shit, we're not going that way. Okay. Which way are we going? <laughs> okay, this way apparently. Hold up, I gotta think. Listen, I think I know someone that can help us out. And the doctor is tied up in all the same shit as the mayor. Doc Fitch? Yeah, they all know a hell of a lot more than they're letting on. And I'm sick of being in the dark. They? Who are you talking about? No time for that now, Alex. Just trust me. We need to get to the doctor before something happens to him, too. I wonder if the they is maybe the cult? Has the cult been up to some more stuff? They usually tend to be the cause of these things in Silent Hill. Trying to summon some demon. Stand back. Come on, the exit is this way. Oh, hello. Those things look interesting. Chief's office. Is this the place? Yeah, that's the place. Alex! Wheeler! Come in! I'm on my way to the sheriff's station! Something's after me! L, head to the parking lot behind the station. We'll meet you there. Clear a path in the lobby. 
and break down the barricade. I'll cover you. Okay? All right. First time using the shotgun. 12 gauge shotgun. I only have four shots for it. That's not much. Hold on. Anything extra? I don't want to lose anything. How about this TV? It's pretty cool. All right, let's go. Well, they haven't opened the door yet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do I have my axe and everything? Yeah. Can I just... Tear that down? Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> All those arms remind me of the arms on those huge things in Silent Hill 3. They look like cancerous, bulbous... Uh... Can I go through there? I mean, obviously, you could just, like, go through there. But... Nope. Alright. We're going this way. Do I bother shooting them? Do I just run? I should probably just run, huh? Oh, damn. I didn't expect that to work. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm kind of trapped in here now. I should probably just shoot them. Yeah, they can open doors. Okay, I got him. So, two shots free. Oh, God, there's more. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I guess I should use a pistol, huh? We just had a boss fight, so, like, I'm not saving the ammo for anything, really. Look at their floppy heads. Hope they don't just keep coming infinitely or something like that. If so, then I just wasted a lot of ammo. Yeah, I still want a map of this place. Um, came from there. Yeah, there's a lot of bonus stuff around here. Can you jump over? Or am I safe in here? Oh god. Oh, so close! Okay, so you can't just keep attacking them. There definitely is, like, they get a little bit out of range. Your first hit misses. You don't stun them, so they get a hit in on you. But they're pretty slow. The axe seems to work okay. I prefer to save ammo if I can. If it's just one, one enemy, I think I'll take them with an axe. Two or something? Nah. I keep trying to look at my map. Uh, been there, been there. Just went... Wait, I just went there. What's over here? That looks like the way I'm supposed to go. Which means I don't want to go that way. I want secrets. Oh yeah, got my flashlight. That didn't sound good. Two of them, no. Their 
hands are so weird looking. Like, what is that? I'm trying to figure out what this reminds me of. Like, sort of a hammerhead shark, maybe? Or just like a blade head thing? I don't know. I, I do like the monster designs quite a bit in this game. Closer look at him. Oh. Yeah, that's like a... It's a mouth. It's split in the center and there's teeth in there. How we doing on health? Yeah, pretty good. No healing items, though. Jesus Christ. Look at this chalkboard. Looks like it's made out of cement. Shotgun shells. It's my pistol. It's the number seven for the shotgun. This might be the way I'm supposed to go. Maybe the exit would have been blocked. I don't know. I'm still too scared to try just in case it starts like a cutscene or something. Okay. I should top Stop trying to do that, like, charge it up attack. Yeah, you hear when they try to, like, fling their head side to side, there's, like, a shing noise? It is a blade. Their head... It's it's their head and their mouth, and also it's a blade that's fucking cool. That is metal. <laughs> I mean, n pun not intended, but yeah. Yeah, baiting out that attack where they charge me is the really, really the good way to go. It's a wrinkled memo. The original text is too faded to read. There's some handwriting at the bottom. Only time will tell who has the will to live. Okay. Strong TV. What does that do? Is it going to open something that's going to allow a bunch of monsters in? Oh, there's definitely going to be monsters behind that. It's opening very slowly. Whoa. I want to find the password. Six digits. It's probably a bonus thing, huh? Where could the digits be? In the static? On the memo? Could it be the time? clock right there. 206. I mean, it's six digits, though. Oh. Damn. Yeah, they did it. So it can be six digits, but, like, you can enter six digits, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, that is so worth it. Pistol ammo, shotgun ammo, and health drink. I feel kind of clever about that. Let's reload stuff. Uh, shotgun can only hold four. 